are talking about turbulence, most of us first of all think about airplane shaking, fluctuating and jolting. This is caused by the turbulent air around the plane. In scientific definition, turbulence is the irregular, chaotic and unpredictable flow of fluid, like air or water. Turbulence happens when a mass of air moving at a particular speed meets another mass of air that's moving at a different speed. Many different things may cause turbulence, but each and every one of them is known and understood by pilots. Clear air turbulence is usually caused by shifting jet streams, which can only be seen inside of clouds. It is hard to predict with a naked eye, yet it is visible to the weather radar. Jet streams are fast rivers of air. Below and above these rivers are wind shears or rapid changes in the wind speed. The worst turbulence isn't right at the heart of the jet stream. The shear is largest at the side of the jet stream. The shear kind of rips apart the air and that causes turbulence. Mountain range turbulence is still hard to predict, even they always stand on the side. When wind comes in contact with a mountain, it current strikes and unevenness and sets the fluctuation. These air pockets and waves may become turbulent. The waves can extend 100 miles or more downwind from the mountain and can range from very mild to violent enough to damage an airplane. Such distance could surprise pilots who think they are clear from turbulent air. Just like clear air turbulence, this kind often has no visual indicator and it's highly transient as it moves around, making reports by other pilots unreliable. Wake turbulence is turbulence that forms behind an aircraft as it passes through the air. Jet wash refers simply to the rapidly moving gases expelled from a jet engine. It is extremely turbulent, but for the very short period of time. Wingtip vortices can remain in the air for up to three minutes after the passage of an aircraft. Convective currents are a common cause of turbulence at low altitudes and can impact planes during takeoff or landing. They are most active on warm summer afternoons and gravity is very important for it. Air that is heated near the ground rises, but since different surfaces have a hotter surface area than the others, the air heats unevenly, causing different hotspots and abrupt changes in the airspeed. Thunderstorms can also create severe turbulence that pilots are taught to avoid. While turbulence can occur inside thunderstorms, it can also occur in the clear air around the storm. This is called convectively induced turbulence. Fortunately, there are many warning systems for pilots. Ground radar, airplane radar, and pilot reports will all alert a pilot to thunderstorms. Pilots and air traffic control bodies do their best to avoid turbulence by studying the weather patterns before each flight. Flight dispatchers remain in constant contact with pilots during the flight, allowing them to relay this helpful information to each other and chart the best routes. Also, prior to and during a flight, pilots take into account factors like turbulence reports from others who have recently flown that path and the presence of mountain regions and cumulonimbus clouds which are associated with the thunderstorms. Indeed, one of the worst things a pilot could do during strong turbulence is try to fight it. Pilots will slow to a designated turbulence penetration speed to ensure high-speed buffet protection and prevent damage to the airframe. This speed is close to the normal cruising speed. Luckily, researchers are developing new software and laser-based technology, which will help airplanes to avoid turbulence altogether. Ultraviolet lasers will send pulses into the air ahead and will capture the turbulent air.